Hello, Evan Rand here, and today we're going to be looking at, for the last time here, by the way, the equipment list here for Farming Simulator 19. And the reason we're looking at this for the last time is Farming Simulator 19 will be out in about a week, depending on uh, uh, when I upload this video here. At the time I'm recording it, it's basically one week away. So, looking at the equipment that they have in the list here so far, we'll see once what has changed. Uh, we'll just go through it. Uh, some of we might just skip through real quick, because again, we've gone through it the last uh, two times. So again, if you haven't uh, watched uh, these videos so far, kind of made this a little bit of a series. A couple people kind of suggested that I should kind of like, yeah, do, do this weekly. So been doing that here. Uh, so yes, again, uh, one week before Farming Simulator 19 releases, again, uh, November 20th, 2018. Uh, if you didn't notice that, they did officially release the official release dates for Farming Simulator 19. So for, uh, at least from my time zone here, uh, it will be releasing 1800 or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it will be releasing for the PCs. Consoles, you're going to have to wait till midnight. So consoles are waiting till midnight. So for the uh, PC, PC will be releasing at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can, of course, figure out whatever time zone that is for you. Um, so yeah, obviously, if you live out on like the West Coast, it's going to be even earlier for you. It's basically, for the PC, it's going to all be released at the same, exact same time. So no matter what time zone it is for you, just figure it out. It's getting released at the same time. Consoles, to my understanding, is time zone dependent. It is being released at midnight. So for those of you a little bit uh, earlier, you're going to get it sooner. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, continue on here. So uh, A, Co, uh, not seeing anything different here. Same combine, some weights. Again, I'll have to say I do like the look of this combine. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. We'll just kind of move on. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing new there. Some uh, cultivation equipment. Uh, nothing new there either, I don't believe. Plow, cultivation, planter, egg. Agar? Is that agro? Agromaz. Okay. Agromaz. Amazon. Uh, I believe the planter is new. The Amazon condor. I don't believe that was in the list before. That is, of course, in Farming Simulator 17. So. Kind of a cool looking, a little bit older, smaller. Well, I don't know. Maybe this isn't necessarily older here. Smaller planter. Let me put it that way. Smaller planter there. Uh, yeah. Basically, kind of looks like a forage type wagon. Bailing equipment. Small tractor. We've seen that before. Cultivation equipment we've seen before as well. Uh, six meters. That's it. Wow. Okay, for some reason, this looks like it's a lot larger cultivator, but six meters, I guess that's it. This one is 18.2, requires five. Whoa, they both require 500 horsepower. Wow. This, considered a cultivator. It must be, I would almost think considered a plow at that point as well, I would almost assume, because to be 500 horsepower, only six meters, that's, uh, that's a pretty good amount of horsepower for six meter cultivator. Uh, yeah, small horse trailer. Fertilizer spreaders, kind of like the two different sizes there. That's kind of cool. Uh, Capello headers. I don't think anything has changed here. We got uh, from four row up to 16 row corn headers. We got just a small sunflower headers here so far. I don't know if they're not releasing the larger one as well. Again, I believe they had a, what was it, six meters? Oh, uh, almost 5.7. And then they had a 12 meter corn header as well for 17. So I don't know if they're going to have that for 19 or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, case equipment here. Uh, the one thing uh, a lot of people have noted here, and I actually didn't notice this myself here, but uh, there are no case combines yet. So yeah, no normal case. I mean, they got the cotton harvester there, but no regular, like for barley and corn, no harvester here for a case yet. Of course, they got the coming soon here, which uh, a lot of people really read a lot into that. And uh, we got into some discussion that on last video here in the comments. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. There might be something coming. There might not be. The coming soon here means nothing. So don't <laughs> don't read anything into that. Uh, a lot of people pointed out, hey, you know, John Deere, uh, there was no more coming soon there, so there was no more John Deere's. Well, obviously, we know at this point that was wrong. There was more John Deere's. So we'll get to those, by the way. Uh, Challenger, we got the MT900 series. Uh, single wheel. Seriously? That's just ugly. Ugly. Uh, up to 646 horsepower. I'm sure they got uh, options, by the way, in it for dual wheels or maybe even triples. I don't know, but uh, tree planner, the dutes or doits. 
EFM. A uh, roller. Weeders. Uh, a couple small trailers. Yeah, boy, small trailers, those things. Okay, uh, Fent. Let's see what's here. Oh, wait a minute. There's another Fent here, isn't there? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. We got the uh, Fent 900 Vario, and we got the Fent 1100 Var. Well, I guess it's not really considered a Vario, is it? Doesn't say it is. We got the Fent 1100. So large tractor. Uh, also got a weight there. Eh, not that exciting if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, that, by the way, when it comes to weights here, we don't, at least where I live anyway, you don't see weights like that. Farmers don't use those type of weights. We put, uh, I guess they call suitcase type weights on the front of the tractors, usually if they have weights. Uh, flex coil cultivator. More baling equipment. Bins. Oh, yes, that thing. That thing. I, I suspect we'll get the chance to uh, use that thing. It would be the starter combine probably on some of the maps. I don't know about all of them, but another small trailer. Sugarcane equipment here. Again, I'm going to try to go through it here somewhat quickly because, again, some of this we've seen here from last two videos. Large plow. Grimmy. Uh, let's see what's here. Grimmy equipment. Has this changed? We got, uh, yes, we have some sugar beet stuff here now. So we got the uh, sugar beet harvester, toe behind. This is probably the topper. Yep, topper. Uh, potato, and then toe behind for the potato, uh, planters, and of course the uh, large self propelled potato harvester that's been there a while. Party sprayer. Oh, they got some additional sprayers here. I do believe they just had the self propelled. Now they have a 3.1 from the looks of it, 24 meters. And then they got a large hoe behind one here, 36 meters. Kind of a funky looking sprayer there, I guess, but hey, okay. That one is 48.5 meters. That is a massive sprayer. Massive. Uh, planter. Like for stylage. Oh, uh, we got the Homer. Okay, so yes, we have the Homer equipment in here as well. So Homer sugar beet harvester. That is the H12, 5.4 meters. Decent sized sugar beet header. And then we also have the uh, Terra Fellas. To be honest, I don't really know what you do with this in the game. I mean, I know what it's for. Don't give me... So you don't have to comment and tell me what it's for. I do know what it's for, but just the actual purpose of it in the game is, I don't know... Horsh. Ah, we got some horse equipment. I don't believe this was here before. Some so horse equipment here. Uh, you may recall the horse wasn't really a DLC, but the horse pack for farming similar 17 came out with some really nice equipment. We still use that on the multiplayer servers yet. Haven't really used a lot of the cultivation equipment, but it has just some really nice uh, like seed tenders in it that's useful, stuff like that. So nice to see more horse stuff. And of course, uh, that pack came with the uh, horse aggravation map. That was a map that came with it. Uh, JCBs, I believe those were out last time. Gens, those were there last time. John Deere, oh boy, getting to my uh, favorite category here. Uh, so no new uh, tractors here. Still have the 6M, 6R, 7R, 8R, 8RT. A lot of people asking about the 9RX. All I can say, folks, is there is a image of one. So I don't know if that means anything, but there's an image of one. Uh, we got the John Deere 560 Harvester. And then we got the 790. So the John Deere S790. So yes, definitely excited to see that one in the game here. And we have a 645 flexible drape head to go with it. Also an 18 row corn header. Oh, this is on narrow, narrow rows though. 16, 618 is an 18 row. Yeah, but it's only nine meters wide. So it's actually, to be honest, not that exciting. Unless that, uh, the, uh, yeah, that width is wrong. Could be wrong, but, uh. I'm guessing that's on narrow rows, probably like a 20, probably 20 inch rows, maybe. Uh, 608, six meters. Yeah. So yeah, see how the the eight row header here is six meters. The 18 row is nine meters. Do the math. That doesn't add up, right? So that is this is definitely for narrow, a uh, narrow rows, which is interesting. I don't know why they would why they would do that. Oh. 
Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, John Deere loader, John Deere weights. I don't know. Do we have the John Deere weights before? I don't think we did. Did we? Again, I don't know. Don't use them where I live that I know of, so we don't see weights like that. Chainsaw. Asking trailer stuff. I think we had that there before. Emperor headers. Kinsey. Yes, the small Kinsey grain cart. Matsu forestry equipment. That little thing again. Uh, crampy trailer. Let's see. Not, I don't think there's anything really new. Unless this dolly. Was this dolly maybe not there before? I don't remember, to be honest. It might not have been. Agro liner trailers. Crone. Okay, so Crone. Is there any new? I think this equipment was here before, wasn't it? Uh, we do have the Crone Big X 1180 chopper. As you probably noticed in the uh, fact sheets for this, it has a cab that looks like it raises and lowers. So that'll be interesting to see how that works in the game here. Uh, of course, the idea for that in real life is to get you up visible above whatever you're chopping, I believe. Oh, uh, let's see. Some coon equipment here. Not seeing anything new, I don't think. Unless, oh, uh, is this coon manure spreader? I don't remember seeing that before, was it? I don't remember. It might have been. I just don't remember it. But yes, that looks like a nice big coon uh, slurry manure spreader. Not really slurry, but the actual manure. Solid manure spreader. Uh, Coverland, yep, some small equipment there. Lily, wind rower, Lemkin. Okay, so we got Lemkin cultivator, Lemkin plow. I don't, yeah, I think some of this is new as well, isn't it? Lemkin plow, I don't remember seeing that before. Could be wrong. Uh, looks like a row crop seeder, I'm guessing. Does it say? Yeah, six meters, doesn't say. It looks like row crop to me. Planters, looks like uh, probably additional fertilizer. And then, of course, that thing. And then our tractor, only one of those so far. Lizard. Like all the same equipment that's before there. They've got the trucks again, the lizard trucks. They haven't had any official uh, trucks in this game, have they? Also, we got the uh, Load King here. There was some debate if this is a belly dump or if it's a belt. Um, kind of hard to tell from the picture. It kind of looks belly dump to me. I could be wrong, but uh, kind of looks more like a belly dump. Type distinction. <laughs> okay, someone's going to have to clue me up. What does that mean? A distinction trailer? What kind of category is that? Uh, loader tools, man. Oh, okay, that's right. We do have the official man trucks in the game. More European than anything, but... Uh, Mana 2 equipment. Massey Ferguson. We have the small Massey Ferguson uh, harvester here, don't we? So, at this point, we got the large Fent and the large John Deere for harvesters, I think. I think those are the only large harvesters in the game so far. Animal trailer, New Holland. Somebody noted here with the New Holland as well. They don't have the large New Holland. In fact, they don't have any. Oh, they got the small one. All right, they got the small New Holland harvester here. Don't think there's anything new here either. Don't think so. Got the round baler, the moco. Well, actually, not really a moco. It's a, <laughs> that's the New Holland. John Deere's the moco, but seems like that's what a lot of people call those type of mowers, though. Uh, here. Okay, some more haying equipment, chopping equipment. Little Paro Hero. Small cultivator, like small. Ah, Ropa. I think I've mentioned this before. I was asking if the Ropa would be in the game. So, yes, we do have the Ropa. Of course, the Ropa was a DLC for Farming Simulator 17. We now have, well, the Sugar Beet thing that picks them up. Looks like a header. We have the... It's all sugar beet. Looks like it is. Oh, no, there is a potato harvester one, too. But the rest of it is all sugar beets. So we got the Ropa, where does it say? The Ropa Panther 2. 700 horsepower. Ooh, just a bit. And then the Ropa Tiger 6XL. 768 horsepower. And then, of course, headers to go with it here. Uh, Four meters, so not quite as big as the Homer, is it? Not quite as big. The Homer is bigger yet, at least as far as headers go. Roast de Lamash. Ah, we have the, I think this is the bigger combine here now. I believe they only had the small one before. Now we have the bigger combine. No headers, though. Unless this is the header for it. Ah, that might, actually, 9 meter header, that might be the header for that one then. Okay. That is probably the header for that combine then, 9 meters. So kind of like a medium. Is that considered medium? Doesn't really say, does it? Just harvesters. 
I guess they don't really break the harvesters down to like large, medium, and small, do they? Or lar small, medium, and large. Uh, plows. Small logging equipment there. Like some manure handling net equipment. More trailers. The Silo King for mixing. That's a different Silo King that was in uh, Farming Simulator 17 that we always use, by the way. Completely different. Star equipment. The old chainsaw. The old front and loader equipment. Uh, let's see what's here. Forage wing and trailer. That's not a, that's more of a forage. Not a pickup one. Small trailer. Weights. The trafeller weeder. Definitely an uh, interesting one. Ah, uh, yes. The, is that considered seed or is that for both? Uh, seed tender. Yes. A definitely nice looking seed tender there. Got the Vodder Stud. Looks like we got some additional stuff here as well, don't we, or not? Uh, actually, that is considered a cultivator, isn't it? Okay, Disc Harrow. Uh, cedar, another cedar. That looks like a row crops type cedar there from the looks of it. Uh, probably front piece for either fertilizer or seed. Not sure. One of the two, probably. And a cedar that looks kind of similar to the Lemkin one. I'll have to say the... Uh, the European cedars are definitely very different looking than the American cedars. Just saying. You know, this would be uh, like the... Maybe we won't necessarily have one this big all the time, but uh, this would be like a more American-style cedar than this one. Uh, oops. Voltra. We have three tractors there. The A, N, and T series. All tether. Wilson trailers look like those are all the same. And the uh, funky five row corn header. Uh, again, I asked this the last video. No one had a real good answer. The only assumption we can assume is this is the widest legal header you can get down the road without having to fold it up. Don't know if that's true or not, but uh, in Europe anyway, that is. I mean, <laughs> in America here, the farmers will just go down the road with their 12 row header on it and uh, just hope you're not on the road at the same time the combine is. So, but yeah, uh, five. Five row corn header. Never heard of those before. Uh, typically go two, four, six, eight, twelve. 12. Uh, usually always even numbers. And it, typically most farmers match their header size to their planter size or some uh, fraction thereof of it. You know, so if they have, a, let's say they got a 12 row planter, they have a four row header on their harvester. That, that works too. That's the way most farmers usually do it. So, yes, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, video here again. It still took us quite a bit of time to go through all this equipment here. There is a lot of equipment. I believe they were saying 300 plus for the equipment this time around for Farming Simulator 19. Of course, myself, you know, <laughs> looking at the John Deere's. So, yes, uh, on that note again, November 20th, uh, we are releasing Farming Simulator 19. So, stay tuned. Again, comments or questions about this, be sure to let me know what piece of equipment you're looking forward to as well. Uh, looking forward to Farming Simulator 19. Throw that down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time, and don't forget to co rate, comment, and subscribe.